average true range indicator is used to determine how volatile an instrument is. Okay? It is used to measure volatility. So now we are viewing the daily time frame of Sunan dollar USD and the average true range value is 41. What that means is that for the past 14 days, since we are on the daily time frame, for the past 14 days, the average number of pips of Sunan dollar USD has been able to deliver is 41. It means that if I want to sell on Sunan dollar USD today, my target should be 41 pips or below 41 pips. Whether I'm selling right. or buying, my target should be what? 41 pips. Yes, the markets would deliver more than 41 pips if a major news is released. But normal market condition, Australian dollar USD will deliver between 40 and 41 pips. So if I'm to trade Australian dollar USD, my target will be what? 40 pips or 41 pips. Do you get it? That tells me that the volatility is low. Anything below 80, volatility is low. Anything above 80, then we can tell that that instrument is volatile. Let's move to gold. Let me switch to gold. So that's in the paper, can we see it uh, It's on the phone. Better phone. Yes. So this is gold. This is gold. So gold here is showing 261. What we have here is 261-800. Yes. 261-800. So we just want to work with the first three digits which is 261. It means that for the past 14 days, for the past 14 days, it means that gold has delivered, has done an average of 261 pips. Some days it was more than 261 pips. Some days it was 400, 300 pips. But the average is 261. So if I'm trading gold today, my target can be 200 pips, 250 pips. But it cannot exceed. Normal market condition. But if a major news is released, they can still deliver 400. But my target will be worth 260 pips or less. I don't want to be greedy. Because there's a high probability that when market gets to that 260, there will be a reversal. So you don't want to hold on to that trade until it gets to that 260. So don't be greedy. You can just go for like 240 and get out. And see what will happen when it gets to 260. So, if a, an instrument will deliver to 61, that tells you that it is very volatile. So, let's assume you want to buy gold. Let's assume you want to buy gold. Eh? And you know the average true range to be 261. When you open your chart and the market has already delivered 200 pips, what would you do? The, the average uh, true range. Is 261, Mr. Boss. 261, that is the average true range. Now, at the time you opened the chart, the market has already delivered 200 pips. What would you do? It remains 61 pips now. Yes. I will let you go. You let it go. Yes. Because if you execute the trade at 200, your risk will be high. So you know that that day, there is no opportunity. If you want to take a trade that day, you have to do the opposite. The opposite thing I have. That is sell. Okay. You waste it. Okay. Do you get it? Yes. Since it has done 200, yeah, that, that, that since it has done 200 and it is left with uh, 60 pips, you might still wait for the price to get to 240. Once it gets to that 240, there's that property. You cannot buy there. So even selling is at a risky. It's mm -hmm. risky, but because the risk you would take selling is less than the risk you would take buying, I would rather sell 
Because I know that there's a price that price will pull back 